The Google Play Store has a variety of different apps, movies, and books for both computers and phones for Google users. There are many free and paid apps on the Google Store, from games to business apps. You probably heard the saying, there's an app for it. We are Parsub, and today we're gonna to show you how to scrape app data from the Google Play Store. You can use this for your research and development and see exactly what makes a great app. For this project, we're gonna scrape the top free apps on the Google Play Store. We'll scrape the app and developer URL and description. We'll be using Parsup for this example. If you'd like to follow along, you can download Parsup for free. The download link is in the description. So let's get started. Download and install Parsup. Click on the new project button and submit the URL into the text box. The website will now render inside of Parsup. A select command will automatically be created. While using the select command, click on the first app that is on the page. You should notice the app you've selected will be in green. Parsub will now suggest which other apps you want to extract in yellow. Click on the next app that is in yellow to select them all. You may need to do this two to three times to teach Parsub what to extract. The rest of the apps will now be highlighted in green. On the left sidebar, rename your app selection to something more appropriate. We're going to name it app name. Click on the plus sign next to your app name command and choose the relative select command. Click on the first app that is highlighted in orange, then click on the developer below it. An arrow will appear showing the association you've created. You may need to repeat this step to fully train Parsub. Rename your selection to app developer. You should notice that both the URL and name are being extracted. To extract the star rating for each app, click on the plus sign next to your app command and choose the relative select command. First click on that app highlighted in orange, then the star rating. Rename your selection to rating. Expand your rating command and under extract, choose the aria label attribute. You should see the rating in the preview window. Since the Google Play Store is a scrolling page, we'll need to tell Parsup to scroll to get all of the apps. If you were to run the project now, you would only get the first few apps extracted. So let's show you how you can deal with the scrolling page. To do this, click on the plus sign beside the page selection and choose select. You'll need to select the main element to this. In this case, it'll look like this. Once you have the main diff selected, you can add the scroll function. On the left sidebar, click on the plus sign next to the main selection Click on Advanced, then select the scroll function. You'll need to tell how long the software to scroll. Depending on how big the page is, you may need a bigger number. But for now, let's put it to four times and make sure it's aligned to the bottom. Now, we'll tell Parsup to click on each app we selected and extract additional data from each page. For this case, we'll extract the app description. First, on the left sidebar, click on the three dots next to the main template text. Rename your template to app results page or anything you see fit. Templates help Parsub keep different page layouts separate and will help you organize your project. Now use the plus button next to the app selection and choose the click command. A pop-up will appear asking you if this link is the next page button. Click no and next to create new template, input a new template name. In this case, we'll use app page. Parsub will now automatically create this new template and render the first app URL on the results page. Once the page is loaded, scroll down and click on the description. Parsub will now highlight it in green, but you can see it's being extracted in the preview table. Rename your extraction to app description. It's now time to run your scrape job and extract all the data you selected. Start by clicking on the green get data button on the left sidebar. Here you can test, schedule, or run your web scraping project. In this case, we'll run it right away. Parsub will now go and scrape the data you selected. Once your scrape is completed, you'll be able to download as a CSV or JSON file. Now you know how to scrape app data from the Google Play Store. You can use this data for competitor research, product development, and even brand monitoring. We understand that web scraping projects can get quite complicated. If you run into any problems or have any questions, you can contact our customer support team using our live chat where we'll be more than happy to assist you. Leave a comment below on which website you'd like to learn how to scrape. Thanks for watching this video. 
Check us out at parsup.com and subscribe to our YouTube channel for more videos on web scraping, data, and the internet. Happy scraping.